But Christmas is kind of bittersweet for me because when I was a kid, my first time performing, I was six years old. And uh, I was performing in our Christmas pageant at church. And I had one line in one song. It was the song, Do You Hear What I Hear? And I messed it up. I sang, A child, a child, sleeping in the night with a tail as big as a kite. That's not the way that song goes, ladies and gentlemen. People get mad when you sing about baby Jesus with a tail. Think about that song, Do You Hear What I Hear? It's Psycho. Who wrote that? Said the little lamb to the shepherd boy. I think the shepherd boy's been in the field a little too long, don't you? <laughs> Talking to the sheep. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, we got to tell the mighty king. It's worse, they go to the mighty king, you know. A child, a child shivers in the cold. Let us bring him silver and gold. How about a blanket? How about some soup? Child shivered in the cold! Throw some gold on him, he'll be fine. <laughs> he's got pneumonia, but he's loaded. That kid is gonna be some. Good morning. It is Saturday, February 26th, 2022, and this is another edition of Cafe Devo. Coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church right here at the point of Saginaw and Washtenaw Streets in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood. That's my pal Bugsy hanging out over there in the corner, and I hope your Saturday and your weekend are going well. Reading once again this morning from the book, Truth for Life. It was written by Pastor Alistair Begg, copyright 2021, Good Book Publishing. James, chapter 3, verses 6 and 8. The tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life and set on fire by hell. No human being can tame the tongue. Three things never come back. The spent arrow, the spoken word, and the lost opportunity. What we say cannot be unsaid. What's more, we will be called to account for every word we have spoken, even the careless ones. At the day of reckoning, Matthew chapter 12, Verse 36, as King Solomon put it, whoever guards his mouth preserves his life. He who opens wide his lips comes to ruin, Proverbs 13, 3. He also said, death and life are in the power of the tongue, Proverbs 18, 21. Our words can serve to encourage, to nourish, and to heal, but they can also cause strife, create dissension, and do great harm. Solomon gives us a multifaceted picture of what characterizes such harmful words. He describes words that harm as those that are reckless, as being like a sword thrusts. Our words so often spill unguardedly and we become someone who gives an answer before he hears. <laughs> when words are many, transgression is not lacking. You will likely have heard the saying that sticks and stones can break our bones, but words can never harm us, but that's a lie. Bruises may fade and the marks they may be forgotten, but hurtful words that have been said to us and about us tend to remain with us for a long time. These lines are true. 
careless word may kindle strife. A cruel word may wreck a life. A bitter word may hate instill. A brutal word may smite and kill. It would be difficult to estimate how many friendships are broken, how many reputations are ruined, or the peace of how many homes is destroyed through harmful words. The very source of all such animosity and abusive language, according to James, is none other than hell itself. Yes, our tongue is, in fact, a fire, and no human being can tame the tongue without the work of God's Holy Spirit. Stop and think about how many words you have used in the last 24 hours and how you have used them. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. So did any of your words cause harm, tearing someone else down in some way? That is a sin to be repented of and turned away from. Is that something you need to do both before God and to the person to whom those words were spoken? Then think of the words you may speak over the next 24 hours. How might they be used to bring life, to lift another person up? How might you reflect the one who committed no sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth? Rather, when he was reviled, he did not revile in return. He himself bore our sin, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. 1 Peter 2, 22 through 24. For further reading, check out James chapter 3, verses 2 through 12. Father, we thank you for this day, and we lift up your name and praise you. And we are reminded today, Lord, of the importance of our words. What terrible harm we can do. We can ruin people's reputations, wreck their lives with the words that we speak. We can tear them down or we can build them up. Help us to be mindful of this, Father, to speak carefully, slowly even, if slowly helps. Help us to speak words that encourage and build up and, and bring you glory. Now, Father, bless us this day. Help us to control our tongues. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Saturday edition of Cafe Devo. Before I go, I want to remind everyone that First Congregational Church gathers for worship tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. We hope you can join us in person, but if you just can't make it in person, you can connect with us through the live stream that goes up on Facebook at the same time. Either way, tomorrow is the Lord's Day, a day of worship. We hope you'll set aside some time to worship with him and his people. God bless you for now, my friends. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.